This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm in Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 13, Other Forms of Input, Part 11. Let's see what we're doing. Well, right off the bat, I see some code here, so I want to see what it does. Does it do... Oh, it says... Well, that's boring. Are there any sprites? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Um, all right. Sorry. Let's see what we're doing. Responding to a single click. Earlier, we learned that key down and key went uh, key went down and key went up can be used to respond to key press a single time, right? Because then the computer detects just when the key gets down. It's for a split second, just when the key goes up, rather than while you're holding it down. The blocks mouse move up and mouse uh, mouse went down up mouse went down allow you to do that for the mouse. Ooh, we're really uh, enthusiastic. Do that for the mouse. <laughs> um, all right. Do this. Let's make a simple game that counts how many times you've clicked. That sounds like the most boring game. We've already provided a variable clicks ooh, that you can use to track how many times the user has clicked. Add the conditional that checks if the mouse went down. Don't let conditional scare you. Add the conditional. A conditional is an if statement because it checks a condition right? If a condition, if mouse key down, if mouse key up, if the sky is blue, well, it doesn't check that, but it's a condition. Add a conditional that checks if the mouse went down. Let's do that right off the bat. I'm going to go over here to controls. If, oh, where do I want it though? Inside your conditional, add the, add to the very, add to the clicks variable. All right. If mouse went down, add one to the clicks variable. Okay, so let me drop back on white if mouse down. We would want it below background white. I know that much because that's what blanks the background to count up. Text size. Actually, I'm going to put it below all that. All right. Get rid of this spacey. Uh, add a conditional that checks if the mouse went down. So let's go to world. Mouse went up. Nope. Mouse went down. I'm going to drop that in. Uh, wait a minute. Mouse down. Why does that say up? Mouse went down. Let's see examples. Hmm. This is for key. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Oh, m key went Oh, that's for a key, though. Do we have... Ah, that makes more sense. Yeah. We don't want this one. We want mouse went down. Drop that in. Left button is not what we want. Yeah, no. Left button is what we want. Because that's the left button on the mouse. Okay, add a conditional. We got that. It now checks if the mouse went down. Inside your conditional, add to the clicks variable. Oh, and we made this variable, and it's set to zero. So add to it we're going to want a variable equals and then we're going to want a addition sign okay so if left key went down let's do sprite nope it's not a sprite it is variable clicks hmm oh we can just write clicks in here right we don't need a block for this the name of our variable is clicks so we declare it here by writing var clicks equals zero. Now I'm just going to use clicks again and say clicks equals clicks plus, well, each time the mouse goes down. And remember, if you hold it down, it doesn't count because it's only detecting the first time it goes down. And then it's waiting for you to release it and press it again. Then it should count. Inside the conditional, add to the variable clicks. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what this uh, does. Ooh, I am clicking and, and, and larger. <laughs> All right, so I think we technically add a conditional. Yep, inside your conditional, add clicks. Yep, we got that. Awesome. Fancy. Boo, 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 boo. So for the code for that, this is what I had. This is what was working for me. And now I am going to, well, do the challenge. I love a challenge. Challenge. Can you add a sprite? I know I can. That responds to mouse went down as well. 
Add an image of your choice and increase the sprite size each time the mouse is clicked. Ooh. So we get to pick an animation. I clicked on the animations tab. Um, characters. Oh, look at that robot. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all these pages, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be way too entertaining. This for the win. It is kind of hideous. Yes. Yes. Um, hit my alien's name is going to be Fred. I don't care. I'm naming him Fred. Or her Fred. Her Fred. Perfect. All right. So Fred is, I need to now get rid of this. Declare my sprite at the top. So I'm creating a variable sprite. Um, since I called her Fred, I'm going to call her Fred here. Located there. And again, I wouldn't have to. I could say alien. Um, and then I want to set the animation to Fred. Going to Fred. Okay. And then, so Fred should appear. Nope, we don't draw it yet. All right. And then, um, I wonder, I think Fred's going to be too large. But let's go ahead and draw Fred. Uh, oh, is that in spite actually? Nope. World? Where did the draw thing go? We have too much code we know now. Oh. My goodness. I'll do this at the bottom, right? So as we make changes, it will draw at the bottom. Then it will loop back around and switch out to white, right? 30 times a second. So we'll never see white. Make adjustments and draw it again. Okay, so we're going to draw Fred. And then, well, let's see how big she is. Wow, oh, she's huge. <laughs> All right, I'm going to change the location for starters. Because I kind of do still want the number there. So I'm going to go, let's show me my grid. Let's put Fred. Um, if the number's here, I'm going to put Fred right around here. So 325 by 200. Okay. And then I'm going to change the sprite scale. And change this to Fred scale. And she will at first just be... Mm, that's huge. So 0 0.10 maybe. Let's see how big this is. Tiny, but that's fine because she's going to increase as we click. All right. So if mouse down, sprite, we want to do some variable stuff here. Okay. We're going to add one to the click thing, but then we are also going to boop, and then grab sprite variable scale. It would be Fred in here. And then we want sprite, oops, scale again, Fred, and we are going to add 0 0.02. Because remember, scale 1 is 100%. So I think 0 0.02 will still make an impact. I could be wrong, but let's uh, test it out. Reset, run. Whoa, attack of Fred! Oh, I am having way too much fun with this. All right, so do we hit the challenge each time the mouse is clicked? Add a conditional that checks the mouse went down. Inside your conditional, add click variable. Yep. So this is the code that I got. Again, this is the code that worked for me, and I completed the challenge. Great, let's uh, keep going.